stays about the same as we go down. And I got 15 different diameters here. Tight spot right there. See, it's not very flat. <laughs> and we work our way all the way down to the end down here. So there you go. Not very good. Not very smooth. Semi straight. I'm going to take a file to it and make it better. Put some sandpaper on. Mainly a sandpaper. Some coarse paper. Use the file to make it flat. Better. The more you angle the file over, the better it cuts. It's greater. You can do X batteries. see what we got for finish, or not finish, but size. Finish sucks, but a little smaller down here, then it comes back up at the very end. So-so. Yeah. I'm going to take some finer paper, do the same thing. Moving, it keeps it straighter. Still feel a dimpling in it, but a lot better. Okay, at least now it's close enough we can make a tool out of it. So now what do we got here? I can't see this mic is so bad on reflection I can't tell where the it is it's about tw uh, 12 it looks like it dropped right there to 11 and a half Whoa. dropped way down right there that dropped at 10 back up to 11 I uh, can't see where's the line at 11 I think yeah, somewhere over there. Really hard to read this mic. It's biggest right down here. All right, well, there you go. It is what it is. I don't know what this material is made out of, but it does not cut very even. So I think I'm going to run a little bit right here on the edge right here and call it done. And hopefully the gear goes through. I need to check that to make sure it'll still go through the case. Oh yeah, we're still good. Alright, so there's a tool.
Okay. I'm going to try to read it. I can see it now. Well, I can see it now a lot better. Okay. It's 11 and a half. 11 and a half. 11 and a half. And 11 and three quarter right there. That drops to 10 and a half. Ooh, nine and a half. 10 and three quarter. 10 eighths. 10 and a half. 10 and a half. Ten and a half. Okay. Yeah. A couple thousand total. As smooth as I'm going to make it. Okay, I'll have to probably put a hone on there and hone it a little bit. Probably the best way of trying to fix that problem. I'm trying to make a consistent tool that will work for what I need. Go over here and get a tool. One of these things right over here. I mean, this one right here will work just fine. It's an external hone, so this will make it straight and true and round and give it a good finish. Honing process, not a sanding or a polishing. It's just, it actually cuts metal. So I'm going to use that. So to make this work, let me get this out of the way, so I can put it on there. Come back and put this on. smaller. I should have used the other one. There we go. Can't get a little oil in there. Honing oil goes a long ways. Use honing oil when you're honing. dry started going. Screws up your honing stone when that happens. Good enough, hopefully. Makes a mess.
So that only cuts where it hits. So it was not cutting right here, it was cutting here and then through here. And now when you measure it, it's hard to get any of this stuff in my way. Should be a lot closer. Yeah, we're at 11. A bit under 11 and a half. There's 11. Just a low spot. Drops down. Still tapered, but a little bit better. Yeah, she's still tapered quite a bit, but it's just big right in here. All right, that helped a little bit. I made it smoother. So that's enough I can make my tool out of. Okay, get this camera out of my hand. I need my other hand here to get this out. So now I gotta make a bushing for this. To go in this case over here. So I'm gonna move this hole over. Make a bush into what this is, drop it in. I'm only going to cut just enough to make it a round hole. Make a thin bush and drop this in there. Then I'll put the distributor gear in here and see if the gear meshes correctly. And I can fine tune a little bit with this one before I go to a full size one. If I used a full size one, then it would not. I wouldn't be able to adjust it as easy. So I don't want to make this hole any bigger than I have to. So that's why I'm going to. That's why I turn this down. It was junk anyway, so it didn't matter. And if you want to save this one, all you gotta do is make a sleeve bush and go on here and push a sleeve bush up on that. And then it'll be a usable one again. And you gotta these things like a thousand bucks these days. I don't know. It's way the hell up there. Way overpriced. But anyway, we can do that. So, so I'll be in the next project. So I'll deal, deal with that tomorrow a little bit. Move on to the next project. Or next stage of this project, same project, just gotta move on to it. Alright, that's it for tonight on this one.